Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin. We're gonna first look at the regression rainbow, and then also look back at the log of the 20 week, or the log of the price divided by the 20 week moving average. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel in the description below. So this regression rainbow has been useful in the past for looking at accumulation phases. In the first cycle and the second cycle had the same general accumulation regression line. It was in the same, the same ones. And then so far, this cycle, the third cycle, has been the same more or less as the fourth. However, the fourth cycle we know has been not as well behaved. We had a short term peak up here. We had a capitulation down here. Now, now that we've traversed above into the new regression or the higher regression band, I want to say, now that we've come back into it, where would it need to go to get to the same level that it reached in 2019? In 2019, you can see we, we came all the way up to the top here before coming back down. Today, it would correspond to around a $30,000 Bitcoin. Now, again, you guys know that I have no idea what short term moves will bring for Bitcoin. I have no idea. Uh, again, I think it's a random walk. It's really hard to predict exactly when a correction will come. It's also hard to predict exactly how high these moves can take us. It was hard to predict it over here that 13.8 was the top, just like we don't know where the local top will be before we have a, a significant correction. If we were to go up to the same level as the last short term bubble, it would imply a $30,000 Bitcoin before reaching that point, right? And so it might look something like that. And then we finally get a, a correction. So that is a possibility. Now, another thing I want to show you is, again, the um, the log of the close divided by the 20 week moving average. OK, so again, when you look at the macroscopic line, which we know won't hold forever, if you identify what this level would entail to get back up to this level, it would also imply approximately a $30,000 Bitcoin. So we could see a few indicators converge here on a few different on a few different macroscopic metrics that we look at. So I just want to say it's, it's something to keep an eye on. We have no idea if we're going to push the 30k in the short term. But if we do, I just want everyone to recognize that it will correspond to this metric that shows peaks on this overextension from the 20 week moving average four times in the past. We know we will eventually not respect it anymore because it would imply being below the 20 week moving average sometime out in like 2027 perpetually. So we will not respect it forever. But if we do respect it again, it would correspond to a valuation of maybe around 0.71 or so, which might be around a $30,000 Bitcoin. It's hard to exactly know where it would exactly be because it, it depends on where the 20 week moving average is and where the 20 week moving average is depends on how quickly the price of Bitcoin goes to that level. And that's ultimately why we cannot give a more precise value, but approximately 30K if it were to happen within the next week or two would put us back up to the top of this macroscopic trend line down. Um, and then also, as I mentioned, if we were to go back to the top of this band that we hit in 2019, if we went back to it at 30K in say 2020 or 2021, it would be the same more or less overextension as we saw in 2019. So hopefully that makes sense. We're doing just a little bit of short term speculation here on, on, on a few things. But again, we don't know where the short term bubble top will be, but these metrics would converge if it were to reach a $30,000 Bitcoin in the short term. So hopefully this video has been useful. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 80,000 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. We'll walk through the market cycle together. Also, remember to check out the Telegram channel in the description below, as well as the premium list which you can find the holiday sale for in the description below as well. And you get access to the weekly reports, the weekly videos, a lot of these trading view indicators as well, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, and the risk dashboard. So you get access to a lot of things. Make sure you guys check it out. Um, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.